국내외를 막론하고 자동차 시장 경쟁은 정말 갈수록 정말 뜨거워지고 있습니다. 얼마 전에 신형 말리부를 출시한 한국GM은 올해를 내수 시장 성장의 원료로 만들겠다면서 시장 점유율을 10%까지 끌어올리겠다고 포부를 밝혔습니다. 김영규 기자가 제임스 김 한국GM 사장 겸 주한 미국 상공회의소 회장을 만나서 한국GM의 시장 전략 앞으로 목표에 대해서 들어봤습니다. 최면 Kim, thank you for having us today. Thank you for inviting me today. <laughs> You've been serving as a Amchan's chairman for three years now. What were the best achievement last year? Well, first and foremost, I'm really honored that uh, this is the third year in a row that I become chairman. Uh, as the first Korean American in uh, in Amchan's history, it's a real honor for me to be in this uh, position. Uh, at Amcham, we have many, many events, probably a hundred events a year. But there are a few that I think are quite unique. Things like Innovation Camp, uh, where we work with uh, students from universities mm -hmm. who is really trying to find a job here in Korea. So we have CEOs who actually visit these schools. We present on how to get jobs in a multinational US organization. Mm -hmm. And we give them really good practical advice on how to find a job. Mm -hmm. And so far, it's turned out to be a very, very meaningful experience for us. And as you also know, we have a very close relationship with the U.S. Embassy. Right. So when we had uh, Ambassador Mark Lippert mm. in the fireside chat, where we can really have a very sincere dialogue, that's very unique as well. Mm. So those are two of the, the real big events that I feel very, very proud to be associated with. Mm -hmm. What are uh, the new priorities for Amcham this year? Well, you know, we have uh, many priorities. Uh, as you know, uh, Korea is the sixth largest trading partner to the United, to the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, we just uh, implemented on the course FTA several years back. There are still many issues that I believe we need to resolve, and that's what AmpCham does. We have 800 members who really rely on our leadership to really help them get to the next level, and that's what we do. Mm -hmm. You have a rich experience from different global companies in Korea. What are the major challenges facing as doing business in Korea? You know, for me, I've had uh, just uh, a great pleasure of working for some of the biggest and the most prominent U.S. companies here in Korea. And as a Korean American, I feel as if uh, I know the Western culture and the Korean culture. And my job as the country manager or the CEO of these companies is to really help uh, sell the value of investing in Korea. And that's what my job is. In fact, uh, when you look at what we do as country managers, uh, we have a lot of competition for U.S. headquarters to figure out where do they invest. For example, at GM, we have many choices to invest. It could be China. It could be Vietnam. It could be all kinds of countries throughout the world. And my job is to help sell the value of why it's special to invest in Korea. And that's what we constantly think about and work very hard at doing. What are some areas that you like to see some changes in Korea? You know, in Korea, obviously, Korea is a very, very prominent nation. Uh, we have some of the best, uh, you know, employees in the world. Uh, having worked in different uh, countries, I think Korean workers are one of the best in the world today. But obviously, there are a lot of things that, uh, that, that American companies could benefit from some of the things that the Korean government can do a little bit differently. Uh, there are what we call Korea unique standards that make it a little bit challenging for foreign companies to operate in. And one good example is, is in some of the wage negotiations. We have to go through it every year, mm -hmm. which makes it quite difficult. Right. But at the same time, we know that's the rule of engagement here in Korea. Mm -hmm. And as a U.S. company, we want to follow all the rules that apply to companies operating here in Korea. You were appointed as the CEO of GM about four months ago. Uh, is that right? I was officially uh, mm -hmm. appointed the position mm -hmm. in January of this year, mm -hmm. but I started uh, in June of last year. So what kind of vision do you have for GM Korea? Well, as the uh, first uh, Korean uh, CEO mm -hmm. in GM, mm -hmm. after the, uh, the investment here, uh, we have a very big obligation here. 
Uh, number one, we have 17,000 employees here in Korea. We also have oversight responsibilities for the two joint venture companies in Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. In Uzbekistan, we have roughly 10,000 employees there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we are one of seven uh, countries where we have a fully integrated design, development, engineering, manufacturing, and a complete sales and service organization. So clearly, I think we are a big part of, uh, of GM's uh, thought process. Uh, as you also know, uh, Chevrolet is, is a very big brand here in Korea. Right. We are the seventh largest Chevy market for GM globally. Mm -hmm. uh, and Korea is the 10th largest auto market in the world. And with our success in 2016, we hope to be number five mm -hmm. for, for GM globally. And that's a big obligation we have. Mm -hmm. And given the different launches we have in 2016, I feel very optimistic that we're gonna have a very successful Chevy market here in Korea. What is GM Korea's role within GM? You know, as I mentioned before, uh, GM Korea is an integral part of GM Inc. Uh, GM is also the largest foreign investor here in Korea. We manufacture over 600,000 cars. And when you look at what we call uh, CKDs, or complete knockdowns, mm -hmm. we're talking about 1.4 million uh, vehicles per year that uh, we are responsible for here in Korea. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, 3,000 Korean suppliers mm -hmm. who supply different parts, not just to GM Korea, but globally. Uh, in fact, uh, I was just at one of our conferences recently, and uh, we supply, our suppliers receive, I'm talking Korean suppliers now, mm -hmm. they always receive very, very positive awards from, from GM. It's called Supplier of the Year. Last year, uh, GM gave out 105 awards, Korean suppliers got 26 of them. So that shows you how prominent and important the Korean ecosystem is. GM Korea has recently been very aggressive in promoting its uh, flagship brands, yes. such as Chevrolet and Cadillac. What are your plans for those brands this year? Well, you know, Chevrolet's been in Korea now for five years. We did some rebranding, and uh, the Chevrolet brand has been with us for five years. Uh, I don't know if you have seen a lot of sparks on the road, mm -hmm. but in March, they became the number one selling passenger car in mm -hmm. Korea, which is something that all of us are really, really proud of. Mm -hmm. In fact, from what I understand, one of the presidential candidates mm -hmm. uh, mentioned that uh, they drive the spark. And that's all made in Korea, designed in Korea, and sent to the US. Mm -hmm. That's again a powerful attribute to what we do here at GM Korea. Mm -hmm. Uh, in 2016 alone, we're going to have seven exciting launches. We just launched the Captiva. We just launched the Malibu, as you know about. Mm -hmm. And Malibu has already turned out to be a huge winner. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you're going to be one of those customers who will drive the Malibu as well. Uh, and we're going to launch one of our electric cars as well. So we have a huge and the right portfolio that we can be very proud of. Uh, when should we expect the electric cars to be launched in Korea? Well, electric cars, uh, different versions are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, one of our versions uh, coming up in 2016. I can't give you the exact dates, but we have the Spark electric vehicle already here in Korea. Mm -hmm. And as the, the other markets are looking at, uh, please count on more from, from GM Korea. All right. How would you describe your leadership style? Like a leading big company like GM, how would you like to lead the company? You know, I've been in Korea now for the past uh, 13 years. Uh, everyone knows I have a philosophy called act to win. A stands for accountability, C stands for communications, T stands for teamwork, and to win. I'm a competitor, I love to win. So when we do those three things right, uh, I believe we'll be in a very, very strong position to succeed. I also like to focus on results the right results. We always want to do business the right way. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we do, I think we'll have a, a very good opportunity to succeed over the long term. Mm -hmm. So this is my final question. Sure. What is your goal, personally and professionally? You know, my goal right now uh, as the CEO of GM Korea is to make our company profitable, sustainable, because we have a huge obligation to the 17,000 employees here we have when you multiply that by three in a family, mm -hmm. that's a big ecosystem right there. Mm -hmm. Plus the suppliers 
and the communities that we serve. And that's my, my sole focus right now. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I really enjoy playing a lot of tennis. Mm -hmm. So over the weekend, uh, I want to go out and play tennis as much as I can and right. hopefully uh, have a good time doing it. All right. Thank you for your time today, Chairman Kim. Thank you very much.